My name is Kwang Wen, also known as Wang <laughs> Wen. Because some of you only speak one language. Some of you look a bit anxious. I think you're kind of reaching your mobile phone, thinking, should I switch it to fly mode? <laughs> Just in case this Chinese fella is trying to steal my personal information. <laughs> Using the Huawei network. <laughs> to that, I will say, your government has already allowed the Chinese to come here to build nuclear power plants on this island. You are doomed anyway. <laughs> Why would you worry more about a GDPR breach than a Fukushima survival incident, eh? <laughs> also, let me be straight with you. I mean, not in that case, as I'm obviously gay. I'm sorry. I just I was like, hey, I need to come out on stage. No, I don't. Everyone knows. Um, sorry, that's a 10 seconds of your life you'll never get back, okay? Let me repeat again. <laughs> I just want to say, despite this Chinese accent, I'm actually not from China. You're looking at a beautiful citizen from the beautiful island of Taiwan! <laughs> yes, I'm one of the good ones! Yay! You know how they used to say? Taiwan, China, potato, potato. What's the difference, hey? Mm -mm, not after 2020. Mm -mm. No, it's more like Taiwan, China. Star pupil, patient zero. Okay, so I will <laughs> pretend I didn't say that because uh, they are listening. And um, <laughs> this Taiwanese beauty recently went to a LGBTQI plus TBC party. <laughs> as soon as I set foot in a door, someone tried to cheer me out. I said, I'm flattered. Turn around. Oh, it's a lesbian lady. Uh, she did apologize swiftly and profusely afterwards. She said, I'm sorry. I just thought you're one of those lesbian academics I normally go after. <laughs> And she continued, and I didn't dare to interrupt her because, hey, feminism, and she said, <laughs> you genuinely look like someone who's passionate about the study of fertility goddess worshiping <laughs> by Aboriginal people in places like Papua New Guinea and the Amazonian rainforest. And I thought being misgender is a serious crime. But to be given such a specific label, <laughs> it's quite another, in it? And I already paraphrased, because what she said was, I thought you are a lesbian assistant professor. <laughs> and I say, not to be condescending, but darling, to what extent do I not marry the possibility of a professor, you thought I was lesbian, I, I could only be assistant professor. You are the one who do not believe in women. <laughs> but she said, no, no, you misunderstood. <laughs> I thought you just look young and juicy and tender <laughs> and you want to be dominated by a lesbian daddy. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> I mean, guys, come on. Um, there's a misconception. I've heard like black don't quack, Asian don't raisin. That is not true. It's not like we don't age. We just don't do gradual decline like Cliff Richard <laughs> or the British Empire, you know? Like <laughs> East Asian do age. We just plummet like, <laughs> like the financial crisis in 2008. So what happened is um, we will wait until one day in our 50s. Like, if you are living a Lolita fantasy with an East Asian partner, careful, 20 years down your marriage, you wake up, you're lying next to a mummy, yeah? That is the deal with us! Anyway, so uh, I'm going to go now. Bye.